Hi, um, I put this together the other day. It's a surface, um, just a surface that I create. So I've got an interesting background for stitch. And what I'm doing, I've done two little areas here. Basically, I'm just using it as a base for a sampler at the minute. I'm trying out different stitches in different areas. Now this might, you might remember that I was talking about on my blog, making some more little books and also making one for me that was a bit bigger. So this might find its way into my book um, because I'm quite excited about making my own book. That might sound really selfish, but I've made so many of those little artist books that um, I want one for myself. Um, I want one in kind of a tantrum, stamp your feet kind of way. So what I'm going to do today is I'm just going to do a little bit of buttonhole stitch down there because I like to pick up the edges where the different fabrics meet and highlight them. So I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of buttonhole stitch down there. It doesn't need a lot. It's just to enhance that line. Um, find a needle. So I'll thread my needle. I mean, I could, these pieces, I've made them a lot in the past, um, and you could embellish on this for months. If you look, if you look at it really close, there's so many different areas that are begging to be highlighted, so you know they could go on forever. So if you never had any shopping to do or any housework or anything, it'd be fabulous. If you're one of these, uh, Edwardian ladies that never had to leave the house and could sit in the parlour all day taking tea, ringing a bell for the butler, then you know this would be the perfect thing to be doing, I think. So I actually don't know why I put it in a hoop to be honest, because I find buttonhole stitch easier without a hoop. So I'll take it out of there. Now I could pull in, I always say that don't I, I just never want it to blur and also I've got a habit of moving out of the way of the camera without knowing because I just get lost in my own little world and also it's white on white so you might struggle, I do apologise if you are, I think you can see the basic movements going on here, so literally just a tiny little stretch here of buttonhole to enhance this little area, I think there's about three fabrics meeting here. So, but it is it's such a beautiful surface to stitch on as well. Right, so that's my first row. So if I go down and fasten that off, um, really hope you can see it there. difficult with white on white. In fact it's a very very bright sunny day today and I've tried to take photographs of this before I started the video and it's so difficult to get pictures of white on white and even though it's a really lovely sunny day it's very early in the morning so the sun isn't very strong so you don't necessarily get the best pictures in lighting terms so I'm going to have to mess with them on Photoshop but I wanted to do them before I started stitching on this because I damp stretched it last night after I'd done these and that, I damp stretched it last night so it was like pristine for images and once I start handling it you lose a little bit of that so I wanted to take the pictures early before I started doing this bit of sewing um, while it was in its best condition so I do two, I tend to do two rows of buttonhole lace just because, it, it, for me, it's what pleases me aesthetically, two rows. So I'm just going to go, what won't take me long. And I'm going to be picking this up and putting this down um, every so often. I said yesterday on my blog I was waiting for watercolour paper to be delivered and I am. So I can't really progress any books or anything anyway until that comes, but there's nothing to stop me playing a little bit with stitching and fabric in the meantime with the books in mind. So there, so go to the back and fasten off again. 
and that's it basically for there. Um, I may well enhance that further with a row of bullion knots hugging that line um, going forward. Really, really hope you can see this, but I won't know till I watch it back. But it's just such a lovely surface. Over here I've got some quite vivid pink. I'm not sure if I really like that, but it's staying. Because um, I'll have learnt that I don't like it, you know, so that's what sampling's all about. And I've got vivid pink down here as well, and a row of bullions in a different form there. They're like a braided bullion, those. Whereas these ones here are like loops, like little ringlets. Okay, so I may put some of the ringlets along that bit that I've just stitched now at some point in the future. Okay. <laughs>